guys, welcome back to Model Image. If this is your first time, hi, my name is Roche. I'm a lover of fashion, the business of fashion. I'm also a little obsessed with vintage. Welcome everyone to the 1st of December and um, to my madhouse because I've decided I'm going to try and do thrift must. I won't be doing five days a week as I think a lot of people do. I'm pushing for three days a week. So it will be Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So that's my schedule for thrift must. My other um, plan is to try to keep a budget of $50 per thrift trip. If I can get an, a full outfit, that would be great. But really, um, I'm still looking for pieces that I you know, that are unique that I want to add to my closet to, you know, pump it up a little bit. So I'm still looking for interest in, in, in pieces. Um, I also would love to find something for, you know, really glam, like a new year's Eve party or a Christmas party. It's going to be, it's going to be a little rough, um, filming for Thrift because if it's, if it's, if it's noisy, I'm going to have to push through. So if you're hearing like I don't know if that's a leaf blower or something, then I apologize, but <laughs> let's do this. So for today's video, I went to um, Inspirations. I love going there. It's so organized. It's so um, I love how it's laid out. So I like to pop back in and see what they have. And so I'll go into the thrift with me and then I'll show you what I got. So believe it or not, as you can see from the things that I was gravitating towards, they're mostly pants. And so um, I took home mostly pants. Now, if you saw my last video, you saw that I made a fabulous Chloe Cape dupe. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it here for you so you can go and check that out. But I saw this little puffer because now I'm thinking if I find a shawl that's of a lighter color, then I can make a similar type of coat for fall. But outside of that, I just really like the color of this. It's like this dusty pink just for throwing over dresses. You know, I'm already, I'm already gone to spring guys. I'm like, let's, let's just skip over winter and let's think of the good times. So <laughs> when I saw this, I thought I'd get this. So it's brand new with tag. And the funny thing is, it has a little inscription from grandma. It says, happy birthday. I won't say who the name is. Um, it says, sure hope your, sure hope you like your birthday gift, grandma. <laughs> well, grandma, I'm sorry, but they donated it. It's brand new. It was never worn. Um, I like it, grandma. But maybe grandma thought baby girl was a small and she's actually a medium, so... Maybe, you know, she did like it, it just didn't fit. We're just, we're just gonna say that. Thanks, Grandma. <laughs> the next piece I found, I, you know, I'm always picking up denim, but this one is just like a straight leg with some distressing. That's, you know, I love finding a straight leg jeans. And so I picked this one up by Gap. It is a little bigger for me, which is good. I wanted it loose and just straight leg. Of course, with these cutouts, it's not for current season, you know, if I have a warmer day, it might still, you know, if it, it's still going up to the 50s, very, very little. Um, 
So this might be something I could put on, but in general, I just liked that it was a straight leg and when you see it, sometimes you just grab it. So always looking for jeans and this is a nice, um, I loved the wash on these as well. So this is the second. So for this item, I had a pair of overalls, you know, very long time ago and I, the trend came in and out and in again and I just didn't go for it. But then when I saw this, I decided, okay, let me just pick it up. I've lost my mind, <laughs> apparently. But this one is by Guess. It has a little Guess logo on the butt with a little tag right here. So I just decided I'd try it. And it's a nice skinny jean. I think it would be great selling it for fall with just, with just a turtleneck. I could layer a button down over it with this, but I'll see how it works out. So this is the second piece, or is it the third? The third item. Next you have this silver lame <laughs> beauty of a pants. This is by Armani Exchange. And I just thought, you know, fabulous. I've been looking for funky silver pants. Now for this, I'm, the reason I tend to go elevated casual is because we have so many times where we'd see a pants like this and we're like, oh, it's a special occasion. Let's put it down. And then it sits there and doesn't get worn. And then the special occasion comes and you wear it one time. And then you're like, what do I do with this pants? But I think, you know, this is just literally a light colored pants. You could wear it similarly as how you'd wear white pants. So I think I definitely just want to style this casually as opposed to dressed up and so i'll see how this works it doesn't have loops so hopefully it fits because i haven't tried anything on yet <laughs> the next item i have are these full leather skinny um pants it has a few little buttons here it has a little zip here now i've said in a, a previous video that the vintage ones are usually a lot more on the baggy side um so when I saw this, I said I'd just pick this up because I don't have a skinny uh, leather, even though this is full leather. So I think just for the season, this will work out fine. It does seem to be high-waisted. It does have loops, so it's definitely fitting into what I was looking for. I would have preferred if it was a straight leg, but I think this will be, you know, pretty good too for styling for fall. And it's a nice glowy but not shiny. <laughs> glowy you have glowy leather um you know what i mean it's it's just a nice it's 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 reflective without being shiny i think is what i'm trying to say yeah now i picked up some accessories as well i found this pair of socks I'm sure if you can see the image right here and it's just a two-tone i thought it was you know pretty cute and funky so it literally goes down the front <laughs> and splits in half. So I thought this was a nice little funky little sock. So I picked this up. I think this was like a dollar. And then I also found this tight. So it's like a leopard print, but it's just in like this tan tone. So I thought this was pretty cute as well. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I got stockings and socks. So I thought just how funky they were would have worked really well. You saw me try this little um, croissant type bag. They reminded me so much of the Bottega Jody. I still don't know. You know, I'm still contemplating that I made a bad decision in leaving it. It just wasn't small enough to be handheld. I just felt it would have kept falling off my shoulder, which is why I left it. Um, but it was really cute though. So I don't know. I did get another bag, but you know, we know what it is going into inspirations. They have so many coach bags and this style was on my list before, but I kept seeing it in the larger version. So when I saw this in the smaller version, I just decided, um, to grab this because in the spring and summer, I was looking for something small to just throw over my shoulder like this. So when I saw this one, I decided to grab it. It's in really good shape. Uh, you know, I just like the vintage coach leather bags. So when I saw this, I decided, okay, I'll grab this. This was $25. 
So I decided um, if I saw it online on eBay or somewhere, I would have had to pay shipping. So I think it's just a really good bag and it's in a really good condition. I would have preferred gold hardware, but I think with the color tones of this, silver works well. And I don't think it would interrupt if I am wearing like gold accessories for this. Uh, so yeah, <clears throat> my voice is going. Um, so this is the final piece that I have. And now let's go into the styling portion. So to start, I've put the Gap jeans on. They're just your regular uh, blue jeans. I do like the fit. I do like the narrowness of the straight leg. And so this is what I had in mind. I've just paired it with my Colin Stewart Western boots. I just love these. I just love the look of it. It's so visually interesting, but still so comfortable. So I can get away with wearing these for, I can get away with these you know, wearing them all day. So this is what I had in mind. And this is just a nice casual little um, throw on. I could even just add a little leather jacket on top. So this is what the jeans look like. So this is a jumpsuit guys. And I can tell you, I'm not so sure because first of all, we have these little D rings where when I'm done tightening it, this is what you get left over. So maybe I can tuck it under here like this <laughs> but yeah so what i wanted was to just do a cute little layering with like um one of my thin turtlenecks a nice shirt over it and then i just have it with my overalls and i thought this would be a nice casual look for fall still a lot of visual interest i've kept on my Colin Stewart western boots but just a nice visual interest instead of just you know jeans and a sweater uh this would be just really cute and really um cool for fall so let me know in the comment section what you think i'm i still try overalls but this these may not have been the ones for me but i really liked the two tones with the patch here and I did like the tuxedo strap going down the back. Maybe this is more of a summer uh, jumper. You know, I can put a white shirt under it, but let me know in the comment section, guys, what you feel about this. Okay, I lied. Since everything else was so really casual for every day, I decided I'd glam up my lame silver pants a little bit. Plus I remembered that I have this um, sequins vintage top that I thought would pair nicely over my um, great turtleneck that I kept on and let me fix the sleeves here yeah so this is how I have paired my silver pants so just playing the sequence with the metallic I thought would have been a really good toned down but still very when I say toned down, because I have the jacket over it, I know it's lame and sequins, but the gray, <laughs> the gray tones it down a bit. So if you don't, if I didn't want to go like full hello, then um, this would be a nice casual look for these pants. I've also paired it with these silver slingbacks uh, just to give it a full like bedazzled look. I really need to up my evening bag game. I just have this little clutch does have silver hardware on it. So I just pair this with this look. And so that's my silver Lamy pants. I love it. This can be styled so many ways, but when I saw my secret stuff, I couldn't resist. I do have a silver version of this, but you know how it is whenever you want something, you can't find it. Uh, <laughs> I think in the transition of moving out um, spring versus um, fall, I probably put it with my spring summer stuff because it's like silver, but it's okay. This also works with the contrast. It does have a little silver running through it to pick up on the silver theme. And so this is the look. The pants are a little big um, for me. So I, and because they don't use belt, I'll probably have to just put a little um, like dart in the side just to make sure they stay up. Cause right now when they fall, they're doing like this little thing here, but it's really because it's a little big in the way so that's an easy fix if i was going to an office party thing i think this would be uh, definitely in line with something that i'd wear so yeah i love this so the final item is my leather pants and i've paired it with this peplum knitted top i just love 
little details on this top and I thought it would go really well with some leather pants. Now the beauty of leather pants is you can literally do a blazer style and every time you change the blazers it's a different look but I've just paired it for current, current weather. I definitely will be needing to be in my knitwear for, for right now. It looks extremely complicated but literally it's just a sweater and some pants but that's the whole idea with finding pieces with a bit of drama on it you know you have to do very little work so <laughs> i just really love this the pants are a little big on me but again because it's like full leather and it's really soft i will be able to just put a little stitch in it keep it up so it doesn't fall down it's all black but it's all like different tones and textures so i think this is such um a nice cute look even though it's all black it's still very visually interesting so that's what i love with from this so this is the final piece and it is my skinny leather full leather <laughs> pants so yeah so guys, I say thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comment section what look was your favorite, what piece was your favorite. As well, if you haven't yet subscribed, I'd love for you to join the family by subscribing. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And I'll see you guys on Friday. So see you in the next one. <laughs>